So, Mr. Atsi, we was talking uh, last time about how you one-handedly integrated, you know, the Eastern Cape. But I was curious about something else, and that would be like, um, what was social life like back in the when you was going up during apartheid or whatever? What was social mean? How did you? How'd you have fun? You know. Okay. One is straight, straight or my right sitting like that. I'll do whatever you want, man. Sure. Be comfortable. You see, I came around here in 1981. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit uh, because the Sever regime was still governing around here. Mm -hmm. While it was not so easy to you to unite with other people you know, because most of the people around if you come from PE they don't trust you really Besides, yeah they don't trust you because you think you, they think you're a big city slicker or something like well that? I don't know what makes them not to trust you and you find yourself you're all by yourself most of the time hmm. uh, fortunately I was busy now with my, with, the, with my father's business. Mm. So going out with the party uh, to go and fetch stock for the shop, uh, what call it, a general dealer. Mm. And on my way one day, there's a place called Debe. I'm sure you know where Debe Neck is. Middle uh, yeah, not Middle Drift. Mm. It's Debe Neck. Mm. Yeah, you pass on, you go through you, you, the first station, you, you pass this yeah. and then, yeah, there was a hotel around there then. What, what was around there? A hotel. Hotel. A hotel, hotel. hotel yeah. Uh, run by Mr. Majiza. She had a beautiful daughter called Miranda. Oh, oh. Well, anyway, I never cared. I was just going for a toppy then. Mm -hmm. When I come from down then via the again. Well, what's the dope? A piece of drink? <laughs> a little <laughs> shot. Ah, shot. You was you was you was you was you was bar hopping. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, one day this young girl came around and said, uh, where do you come from, Putiman? Uh, what's your name? All that This was Miranda or somebody Miranda. Else. Miranda, yeah, okay. I never took it serious. And I said, no, my name is Atiba Vuma, coming from P, you know, all that and so forth. And, and then, yeah, I left that day. I think about two, three, the following weekend, I passed through again there. And then... Uh, well, for your little doppy again. For a little doppy again. Wait a second, let's do... I, I, I don't want to stop you, but let me just ask you something. Why was the doppy so good there and not someplace else? Why? Was that just on your way? What, what? No, it, it's because I'm from town, so I don't want to take any doppies in town and come through this way. Then that one is not far from home. Mm -hmm. See, I take one doppy and then go home. Oh. And that's the only nearest place with a doppy. I see. So you yeah. didn't want to be like a drunk driver. Like a drunk driver. Oh, okay, and, yeah. okay, okay. Just go for that top one beer. Mm. Just take one beer and then that the, there's no other place you get another beer. <laughs> you get it when you go out and then or coming back from town. And she told me, Booty, I'm sorry to say it. These days we we tell when you love somebody you love them. Started the journey. Oh oh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> That's the only that was my best times. Uh, but it uh, yeah after I think after some six months I was coming from Dimbas. I had a pal of mine called who Biza. He used to work at the Ndola Feltrie. Okay. Yama Pepper. He said Yama Pepper. Oh, I'm Straight down here. Yeah. I used to work at the factory making papers and all that. Then I stopped there to drop her because I picked her up here. She came around and seen somebody and she saw me and said, ah, I'm going home back 
I'm going back home with you and all that. So we went together. And when I was just about to drop it, some guys came around. <laughs> That's where the trouble started. Because he came around, and my window was up, and he locked at the window. Couldn't hear what he was talking. And I opened uh, the window. It's just there. Uh, don't you see you still, still standing on my way and all that and all that? And all that. Ah. Huh. I think another three guys from a taxi came around and they moored me. You know, mooring. Yeah, yeah, they beat you. They moored me. <laughs> so you got to beat them. They've been, I think they were drinking in the, in the combi with an empty bottle of Fanta. He came around and knocked me, but fortunately I was a bit taller than all these guys. He hit me with this bottle like that. You can't reach the And I was just asking that gentleman, why? what's all this about me? What did I do? Just tell me so that I can say I'm sorry about it. No, they didn't care a damn. They moved me. Oh, oh. Ah, then. I've got something that just comes up like that. I hold one of them. Okay. I moored him. No, I moored him. <laughs> I moored him. And I had a knife in my pocket. Took out the knife. I stepped <laughs> across the face. <laughs> and unfortunately, he got loose and on his <laughs> way. And they all ran away then. But the thing came back, I was caught, arrested. And I was taken to Middle Drift Police Station. That's where I was locked for the whole of the weekend. Monday I appeared and I was given a, a bail of 600 rand. Uh, I said, Jesus, this guy's mad. <laughs> making my bloody life so in the that's what I say. That's why I say they don't like guys coming from PE. Mostly they say they make themselves uh, big shots and all that. Well, you was messing with the women. That's why they say, meanwhile, it was not their women. This one was not their woman, just because they, they had that feeling for her, but she never had any feelings for any one of them. But Mr. Ati, look, I, I hate to point this out, but remember the beauty queen that came to you? This beauty comes to you. Now you have a history of these women coming to you. Yes, yes, I've got that history. I don't know. I thought I, I might have something that uh, my you father or my parents smeared on me. I've got a history of that. <laughs> I've got a history. It's, it's so joke. I'm telling the honest truth. There was one from uh, Wawalusit. Mm. He was going with his boyfriend and he said, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I love this guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of his boyfriend. Right in front. We thought it's a joke and he said, it's not a joke. I'm serious. Sure. And that's why it started all over. Because I left and uh, went away. Yeah. And then came back. She came back. All by yourself, no. sure. challenge. Without any boyfriend. This is no joke. I hear you know this. Uh, one of my favorite places on the planet is uh, is, is Belize. Uh, uh, there's a place called Barranco Belize, but above there is the place, place called Punta Gorda. Huh. It's, just in, it's just in Central America, uh, the the Gulf of Honduras, and they have a saying there that if the woman comes to you, that you can you you could talk to her, but that doesn't mean anything. When you leave, the woman has got to come to you. Once she comes to you, that's it. Nobody can argue or anything like anything that. Anything like that. You, know, you can't go and try to get a woman. No, no, no. She has to come. You can talk to her, but she's got to come to you. Now you. No, then. But but you're one step above that. You don't even say anything. They come to you. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> now that was Miranda's mother had just had a sister staying in London. This is a story which I was told by Miranda. Mm -hmm. They came around, they visited the, the sister, which was married to the owner of the hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
sister told him that, told him that uh, listen, there's a new guy around here. You know, I want him for you so that you can, which is Ati. This new guy is Ati. And they're talking right in front of Miranda, and Miranda told them, sorry, that's my man. <laughs> that's my man you're talking about. <laughs> Wait a second, now I'm totally confused. This is the, okay, the, 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 the Miranda, sister, Miranda is the daughter. Is the daughter so of, the, of, of, of the mother, of and, the, the, and then the sister, the sister of so the her mother aunt came around. So the aunt, her aunt. Her aunt. Yeah. So both the aunt and the daughter wanted you. That's it. Actually, the mother told the aunt that, uh, look, I've got the new guy you want to <clears throat> get around here. And Miranda said, that's my man. Wow. You leave him just <laughs> like that. <laughs> this is no joke. <laughs> and in PE, yeah, oh, no, no, right here. Is it right here? Yeah. No, it's in PE. One woman came around to visit P.E. I don't even know her. They, I was with my brother, and Monde Scucha was a rep. So this woman was introduced to my brother, mm -hmm. my elder brother. And I don't know, then I left them and fuck off. Yeah. They came around again at home, and I was there. Mm. Drinking my beer. And uh, this woman kept on looking at me, winking. And I, mm. didn't, <laughs> I didn't take it, you know, winking. Yeah, no yeah, winking. Uh, I didn't take notice about mm. this and I didn't care about it. Just winking. Uh, and then she came around and said, I want to see you outside, please. She <laughs> went outside. Said, I saw you in a party. Yeah, last night. I never even noticed it. I saw you at the party last night. So, I don't know. I've fallen for you. <laughs> His boyfriend is right inside the room. <laughs> Who is your brother? Is, hmm? Who is your brother? With my brother. Gosh. I said, now, hold it, hold it, hold it. But here's your boyfriend. No, this is another story I'm talking about. Huh. That's besides my brother's uh, girlfriend. Yeah. The, 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 but your boyfriend is inside here. I, was, I can't do that because I, I can't hear to that man. Please, I'm telling you, I'm falling for you. There's no other way. She was a nurse at the Livingstone Hospital. Yeah. And I called my brother and said they. they that's what her, her words. She said, I am the mayor. I said it to him. Don't blame him. I've fallen for him in Harlem. Oh. And it started there. <laughs> this God. one with my brother. She came from Joburg. And we had a party during the, 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 the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then I left. They came around again at home. And he saw me going to my room. Then, uh, no, nothing, I didn't care, and went off, back to my chummies. Came back, while I was in my room at night, about nine o'clock in the afternoon, and I had a knock. Yes, she came, she came in and straight into my room. Straight into my room, stripped off. Oh. I said, hey, my brother is coming. Well, he said, I don't care a damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. These are now true stories I'm telling you. Uh, uh, true uh, stories. Can I say something about that? Mm. I've lost count. I've lost count of how many, how many, how many of these women. Yes, I've oh, lost oh, count. I can't even know. This. I can't even <laughs> count. This Miranda, this woman, uh, oh, Felicia. Oh, gosh. Oh. Felicia, who's the other one? Mm -hmm. Oh. Lower Gual City. Oh. And one was a colored woman. Oh. Right in my house. Right in my house. Married. I'm married right in my house. We're drinking. And they came around. He, she too was with a boyfriend. <laughs> she said to my wife, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't do it otherwise. I love your man. I love him. I love him very much. So I'm sorry about that. She was a colored, beautiful woman too. 
the beautiful woman. Okay. And I thought maybe something was, you know, smeared. Smeared <laughs> or they gave me a good bath that <laughs> <laughs> That's inviting women. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll just call this Ati and his women. That's it. Or Ati and the women. And the women. Because you did, yeah, obviously no, they weren't your women. They were the you. How, I don't know how to explain this. They weren't really your women. No, you was no, you no. was their man. Yeah. That, uh, and That's I think so. Right. <laughs> she was. These, these are true stories, no joke. Yeah, no joke. Mm. <laughs> it's not only that I can think about others as well. And the white lady. <laughs> oh, don't don't tell me about the white lady. There is a white lady. Oh no. There is a white lady. She was working at a doctor's uh the surgery, yeah. the surgery, yeah. Now, I used to go, my girlfriend worked also at the surgery. So lunchtime I go and just spend the lunchtime with them and all. Now when I get there and my woman is not there, this lady would come and sit there. And once my woman comes in, she steps away, you know what <laughs> steps away. <laughs> And one day she had a small car, there was Morris, Morris Minor. You know Morris Minor? No. It's a car. car. Okay. It's a car, there's small cars. Mm. They were the smallest car made in England. She had that car and she said um, she wants me to, to cover the seats of this car. And uh, I took the car on a Friday. I did the seats on the Saturday. On Sunday, I took the, uh, the I took the car to a to a place in uh, Summer Strain. She had a uh, staying what do they, what do you call this flats? flats? Yeah, but she was living on the first floor flat. I went up the stairs, taking the key to it. I passed a room uh, with guys drinking, white guys drinking. Um, Past that and went to the toilet room. And I got there because I told her I'll be bringing it in on the Sunday. Sunday. She had a 90 inside and he grabbed me from the door. Hold on a second, just hold on. I don't want to I don't want to spoil it. Let me what time of day was this? It was about past past two. Two in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Past two in the afternoon. And she had a night Because on. in the morning I was I went to church and then came back to the to the <laughs> car to her. <laughs> you went straight from church to the car to her to her boudoir. <laughs> <laughs> she caught me right at the door, dragged me in, closed the door. And I was just wondering what's happening. <laughs> now the door went quack. And those guys came in. Came, came around and they didn't lock, she didn't lock the door. And they opened the door and they asked me, what's happening? And she's whining me like this. She said, get out, get out, get out. Saying to these girls to get out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> when I got loose, I don't know whether I went down those stairs or I jumped, I jumped those stairs. <laughs> well, fortunately, there was a bus going past the way. I caught that bus. <laughs> to run away. Uh, to run away. Oh gosh! Because it was then like I said, that time, during those Apartheid. days, the apartheid, uh, I, w I would have been dead by now. Mm. Because they would say, change the story and say I was raping or something like that. Mm. Wow, well, Mr. Ati, we, we we have to end it there. This is too much for me. Uh, is that too much? Uh, no, it's my heart can't stand. It. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how hard how your heart stood it all these years. <laughs> <laughs>